It ain't ghetto. It's going to be ghetto. No. It's but it's, it's going to work. Progress. We'll do a little aerial shot later and up kind of see where we've come in a week. But we are getting ready to go to Lowe's right now because we need to get stuff for our chicken coop. The chicken coop that is not built yet. Not built yet. And we are hoping to get chickens quite soon. So on our way to Lowe's and I'm sure we will probably wind up picking up other stuff while we're there. Uh, we need all sorts of stuff. We've got to tie into the septic. We've got to start fixing plumbing and all that. It's like a it's like an elephant, guys. Yep. Like <laughs> one bite at a time. All right. Since we are in desperate need of chickens in our life, <laughs> desperate need, I would really like some fresh eggs that I don't have to like go by. Uh, we are fixing up the chicken coop today. That, well, it's a shed. It's not a chicken coop yet, but it's gonna be a chicken coop. So there was a massive rose bush right here that it, you- It's dead. It's dead. You ripped it off, but it also tried to take the uh, the rain gutter with it. Well, I think it was actually holding the rain gutter on. Maybe it was. Because as Maybe soon as I was. got the last little bit and pulled it off, the rain gutter just fell on the ground. Yeah. So So we're fixing this, and then we'll, we'll kind of go over how we're going to be transforming this into a chicken coop. This is our ghetto chicken coop. It ain't ghetto. It's going to be ghetto. No. But it's, 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 it's going to work. It's homemade. Ghetto. I don't even know how they got this in here. I need a longer extension. Uh, Can you grab me yeah. one of my... Long ones? Actually, I should have a really long one in there. This one? That one guy. Yay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, it'll be a little bit low, but... That's all right. That's all I can do. Well, I don't think the chickens are going to be that upset. If uh, we end up getting chickens that notice, we'll be famous. Extra chicken. Look at these chickens. <laughs> they can spot a crooked rain gutter from eight feet away <laughs> and they'll complain about it. So part of the reason we're not just leaving this down and ripping it off. I mean, it's just a chicken coop, right? A little water never hurt anybody. <laughs> well, tell that to a drowned chicken. <laughs> uh, because the roof is already here, the structure's already here, we're gonna utilize it. It's just temporary. Eventually everything's gonna be mobile, but for the right now, I'm gonna build a good sized yard. You know, nothing crazy. Uh, we can put nesting boxes in this. All I have to do is cut a little hole, put a door on it, yep. put chicken wire on everything, and then close up the bottom so nothing can get in. Right. With the rain gutter already on, we can collect rainwater and have a self so if it, or self uh self watering watering chicken system chicken system yes yeah so i'm just going to check and make sure this ring gutter works this is an old bucket i found out here. <laughs> old bucket. if it works we're good and we can put a rain or a uh, rain barrel mm -hmm. collect all the water we're good to go Okay, I guess I'm gonna start putting up posts and getting the walls up. All right. Okay, so this is, I don't know, how big would you say this is? I don't know, maybe six feet. Six feet by... 12 feet. 12, 14 feet, something yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. So our plan is to basically leave this the way it is, put chicken wire where we need to, just kind of, you know, seal it up, um, and then put roosts in the back. Mm -hmm. And then somewhere in here, we're gonna put nesting boxes, mm -hmm. and then we'll have a door. You know, we'll, we'll cut, cut a door, door somewhere. Yeah, Some, something escape that hatch. Can, something that I can close up at night. Yes. Yeah. Uh, because it's a static coop, they're pretty much in jail all day long. They're 
we have a job for them. Like, right. When we were back in suburbia, I got into making compost, and the fastest way to do it is to concentrate all the manure in one spot. And so, because the dirt out here is pretty poor, we're gonna fast track our compost right. operation. So. so, this is the way we plan on doing it. Yes, I mean, we will have chickens out in the yard in different places, but for this specific operation for compost making, we're yep. concentrating it all in, all in one shop, in one area. So. Plus, right now, until we really like learn what predators, we're talking to a neighbor and there's coyotes that they're dealing with with their chickens. Yeah. Uh, just stuff like that. It's like, okay, until we really like learn the area, right. learn the predators, you know, I don't know, I haven't seen any hawks, but that could change once we have chickens out. Yeah, and until we get like fencing and, you know, yep. le electric fencing and all that. This was the fastest, cheapest option. Because we need chickens. And, you know, hey, it's already here. Right. Right? Why not? Might as well. It looks good. We'll go one, whatever that length is. I haven't even measured anything. That's okay. We can just lay it out like this. Okay. Then we'll just lay it out like this and see what happens. I think for an immediate chicken coop, then this will work. Yep. And we'll make the other one really like fancy with angles and trigonometry and stuff. Ooh, you used fancy words. I did use fancy words. Top there, post in the middle, corner. There. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Work. Jack, do you know where the uh, postal digger got to? Yes. In fact, it's right. Postal digger. quite as much done as we had. We, we ran around like for two hours like getting the things. So that spent a lot of time and then Bill and Don showed up with Bobcat and of course we all have to stop and watch that. So we did and the boys just got a kick out of it. I so. got some drone footage of Bobcat and Axe. Yep. It, it's just fun. Good it people. Fun. I mean, and we just hang out. So. We just hang out and talk. It's, yep. it's awesome. It was nice to be outside once the, the air cooled down a little bit. So. Something I have noticed and a couple people have said, if you work too hard and never take a break, you'll go crazy. So to walk away from this project, yeah, I didn't get it done. I didn't get what I wanted done today. It's kind of like, eh, but nobody's going to be mad at me. No. Like, it can wait until tomorrow morning. It, it can, can wait until tomorrow evening. It like, can. I mean, there's fine. a certain part where, you know, you need to work and you need to get the projects yep. done. But then there's also another part, like, I mean, after spending a year and a half on the road, we are exhausted just from that. And then, like, just, we want to be out here and enjoy things. Like, this is our new home. Even though there's, like, nothing out here, it's just nice to have dirt. Yeah, like, it is. You know, we're going to eat dinner, and then we're probably going to go on our, our evening walk and just relax. So it is not as much progress as we had wanted, but you know what? It's going to get done, and chickens are coming, and it's okay. It's all right. So, and we're still learning all the things around here. So it's all good. So we're gonna we're gonna go eat dinner. I put chicken in the instant pot, so super easy dinner. Easy dinner. All good. And then like I said, do our walk and go to bed and start off. Yep. Start over in the morning. Start over in the morning. A little bit shorter vlog today, so sorry for that, but you know, it's just one of those like it, we had good intentions. Yeah, we did. Camera came out all day, it's like, okay, we're going to Lowe's, we're gonna get all the stuff we need, and then started doing something else and doing that and 
Which I think every homesteader can completely understand that sometimes that's just the way it goes. The goal was to get the chicken coop ready and instead we did all sorts of other stuff other all day stuff. long. But it's okay. It's all good. So we're going to call it a night. We will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.